What's up, everybody? This is Shy Speaks. I'm excited to be here with you guys because this is the official behind the scenes look at what it took to create Dear Everybody, the live band mixtape. Now that project was recorded with five musicians, three vocalists, a DJ, a super cool engineer in this vintage studio, and the entire thing took place in just two days. <laughs> but wait, before we get into the live production stuff, we have to talk about what it actually takes to really create a project. There's pre-production and then there's post-production. And for that, I thought it was only feasible to bring in my favorite production team in the DFW area, and that is Mav Tones Production. I contacted Mav. Now Mav, he is a super, super silly dude, but he's a seriously talented producer. And he's also a keyboardist. I chose Mav to help me with the remixes and remakes because I knew if I was gonna make a live band mixtape, I needed a producer who was also a musician. And Mav was just perfect for the job. He also winds up being the keyboardist in the live band productions. And you'll see that here in just a moment. But speaking of musician, Tone, who's the other half of Mav Tone's productions. <laughs> Man, he's an instrumentalist too, but he's an incredibly intelligent audio engineer. Now, as I stated, the entire project was recorded over a two-day process. Day one it was all about setup and setting the tone. So we knew of all the tracks, we had to start with grinding. You know, because Pharrell is one of my favorite producers. When he created that boom, 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 boom. I go by the name. Like, I, I still feel that. Um, I also like the fact that it's a theme song for just being on the grind. And I figured I'd put my own twist of positive spiritual bars over the top of it. You'll see, man. Just hold on for a second. Let's take a look. Grinding. Grinding. So it's a hot song. I'm going to ask that you would just cover all of us today as we use our gifts and creativity to put together a body of work. That you would be in the midst, that your creativity would be among us. I ask that you would cover this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. A live band of any sort, especially recording session, that has to be led. And I couldn't think of anybody better than my friend, my brother, uh, none other than the bass boss himself, Mr. Thaddeus Trivet. As a music director and bassist, he's worked with the likes of Ty Trivet, of course, his brother, John Legend, Maxwell, Jill Scott, and now, me. I'm your pusher. I pulled the sample, you know, this is a very familiar song that got really big drums in it. So. Shout out to Pharrell. I figured I could take it more on a, a vibe level and just bring it to more so that side of her, even though this is something that's very big and, and rough, but you know. So I, I did piano sound first, over the top of that, over the top of that, that groove. I ended up moving the guitar in front of the piano because uh, it just made sense because it was a bigger sound and the drums was already big and I didn't want it to come in like, yeah, 
you know. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted the song to come in as strong as the drums was gonna come in. So adulthood drums. Yeah. You want childish drums. Yeah, I mean, right. well, the drums was already adult. I just didn't. I didn't need a childish sound or right. something too soft. We came up with that and let that really just rock over the top of that beat. Yeah. All right, so your drums. What up, world? Earl? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Lil Marcus, man. Uh, my real name is Marcus Jones, but everybody else call me Lil Marcus around the city. And yeah, I play drums. Dallas, Texas, baby. <laughs> man, I've been playing drums all my life. All of my life. But I didn't get serious till I saw one of my homies, well, a little brother named Mike Mitchell. When I saw him play, he kind of influenced me to just, you know what, pick up these sticks and just go. And um, along the way, I met, met up with a guy named Cleon Edwards, and that was another big influence. Just, you know, just kind of helped me to go farther. So from there, I just went on with the dream. It's unpredictable, just like my life. Just like me as a human being, unpredictable. Like, you'll never know what you're gonna get. I'm never gonna get the same thing or the same response. Yeah. Like everything, but but you will know that you will feel everything for me. So that's basically one thing for me. I know, I, I guess, I'm based off a of feeling, I guess by the moment that I'm in at that particular time. Drums to me is kind of like the personality, your lifestyle, you know? Uh -huh. You know, so that's basically what it is for me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I was so, so excited. Nick Reed, man, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember meeting this guy. I don't, I can't even think what age he was. He probably was like eight or nine. Shouts out to him, little Nick Reed. It was a pleasure playing with my little homie. Yeah, so I kind of just sat down, mm -hmm. and then she mapped out, okay, I'm going to do a break here, and I'm going to do this, and, you know, okay. She, was, she had her hand very much into the production of it throughout the whole thing, because she... She was very specific about what she wanted on every song. And then, you know, I figured being a good producer is more so listening than doing. If you pull out what's in their head mm -hmm. and make it an even be more beautiful picture, mm -hmm. you've done your job. I think that's a, that's a good segue into the mixing aspect of it. Because yeah. I wasn't privy to any of the pre-production. Man, so we have two drummers, number one. Uh, so you got 87 tracks? No. You, it's a lot. Um, you have anywhere between six mm -hmm. to 12 mics sometimes for, for one drummer. So I have to make not only the sound of them hitting the drums line up with what's going on in the song, they have to line up with each other. The snare from the first drum is prominent. The kick from the second set is more prominent. Mm -hmm. I have to turn some things on uh, when I open up the track, just because these plugins are huge. Each individual track has to have space. Everything that's in it has to be heard to some degree, some louder than others. For this particular instance, to your point earlier, the drums carry the song, so this is what takes precedent over everything else. It's drums, vocals, and then everything else is in a support role. It's to make the track feel full, not to the extent to where you have you know, too much kick or too much highs, but everything just, Fits. All right, so with with that being said, when I bring in everything, so I actually can rap a little bit too, y'all. This is live, so you know the the elements of the DJ scra uh, scratching, the guitar, all of that, everything has a position. Yeah. Mixing engineer's job is to create that space in the other instrumentation. So I have to go in, I have to EQ everything. Everything that we don't want, I have to pull it out of the song. Everything that we want to keep, um, just give it space. The goal is when somebody hears your album, they want to hear it from the top to the bottom and they want it to start all over again. Pharrell is, first of all, Pharrell is my favorite producer because first of all, he can produce anything. And he he has so he's such a broad range of music, you know, from movies and 
this he can work with any type of artist and it so that I've always grew up grown up listening to him and really really just respected his production and to be able to put my take on something I'm just like I just hope you hear it and then just for the whole idea that she had period for this whole project was dope to me I get to really be creative on a bunch of stuff that I, that's already things that people love you know so it's just it was just it was a dope feeling to even get the call to do that especially you know knowing that she had already did projects with people like Thaddeus and you know yeah people was reaching out to her and stuff and everything to do it and she you know I got she chose me So this is hip hop, and I know you probably heard of money, swag, smurder, women stripping and tipping and flipping keys like a locksmith, working hard to be fly, sitting in your cockpit by any means necessary, even if it's crime. Well, I'm on some APG, all positive crime. What you know about them college studies, late night, late night, and all you had is will like Jada on a date night, and all you had is determination and late registration. Shout out to Kanye and my college graduation. I made it, I made it in America. All I had was the God in me, like Tina and Erica. Bloody Mary, kinda scary, grew up with no parents Running around in the hood, trying to find some new balance Get it running, new balance, rap needs some new balance Old dogs, new tricks, now nah, I need some new talent So here I go like I'm Mr. Go, no gimmicks Greatly giving my gift, gosh, no gimmicks Here I go with that alliteration Almost start playing acrobats with these alphabets And break my concentration, I'll be grinding in the independent, in the independent Listen, I'll be, I'll be independent Grinding in the independent, in the independent Listen, I'll be, I'll be independent and the independent, and the independent, listen, I be, I be independent, and the independent, and the independent, and the independent, listen, I be, I be. Was it all positive? Nah, it wasn't. I just started reversing my life on some straight Benjamin Button. Took them negatives from negligence and polished them to positives. So spiritually rich, you wouldn't have known I was impoverished. Promise from the start that if I made art, I would go cardiovascular and come straight from the heart. Feeling like keeping the music to art, and I know what I'ma do with these arts. I'ma aim where you see red, and I'ma split it apart. Moses mine, you don't wanna be in the blind when it comes closing time. Wait, hold up, shall I stop it? That's another topic. Throw me any topic, I go Houston like a rocket. I say hold up, stop it. That's another. Topic. I'm from Dallas, I'm a maverick I go Houston when I rock it, that's that versatility That's the good music Remind me of these rappers, they do not know how to use it That's probably why they abuse it, I don't know I be independent Independent, independent Listen, I be, I be independent Independent grinding ain't the only way to make it I know you got a dream, wanna get it out your head So you think you need a team, but gotta get out the bed First, and that starts with you though This ain't martial art, can't be worrying about them and them This ain't martial art, get it? You probably don't, so let me break it down more Life is more solitary than connect for Gotta grind on your own if you wanna gain respect And your Geronimo effect to have a domino effect That's the colors that I apply to paint a good picture To make sure you fulfill goals like NFL pictures Grind on your own if you wanna gain respect in your Geronimo Geronimo effect to have a domino effect Them the colors that I apply to paint a good picture To make sure you fulfill goals like in the fell kickers In the independent, in the independent Listen, I be, I be independent In the independent, in the independent Listen, I be, I be independent In the independent, in the independent Listen, I be, I be independent in the independent, in the independent, listen, I be, I be independent. Yeah, in the independent. Yeah, yeah, in the independent. In the independent. Yeah, yeah, in the independent, in the independent, in the independent, listen, I be, I be independent.
Next up on the ballot, Detox. Now, I chose the song Detox because the original song by Kendrick Lamar was meant to be an ode to Dr. Dre. And Dr. Dre is one of my favorite producers. The song is also an opportunity for an artist to have a lyrical release, so to speak. Um, it's kind of like my way of, of, of telling people that you too need a detox. I believe that everybody needs a detox. I brought this record. Um, I was the approach for it for me was I already liked the record, so I really didn't have to do much but inserts. Like I did inserts of just scene change. It was like scene changes. I wanted to treat it like a movie. Like even though we, it's like having a movie or an interview in a room, but it just switched to like different scenes and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I can just do like inserts of crazy stuff to kind of just make people be like, what was that? And then all of a sudden it's gone. The inserts was great though. Like it got little spots in it. Okay, tie your marks, tie your marks, finish now with the tie your marks. And then she had where she wanted to make the break set and everything. I'm going to my heart that I really just ain't to buy. I, I, like a captain, I'm no run. I, I, like a couple of people. Thank you. Thank you. He hate when I use a lot of sims because they're in the same frequency range and it'd be they, hard to mix. They do this. They're all right there. They food touch on their plate when they eat. That's all right. It's all going in the same place, Bubba. This one we can talk about. Let me show you what this sound looks like because sound has a If I clear all of this, as you can see, the sound from the synth spreads from the middle all the way to full left and right, even past what's called the phase variance where you have all sound within the three byte range. This man uses 15 cents in one song. I like synths. So does the world. Tom, come along with us. Shout come on, out, give me my name. Shout out to the people at Good Hertz. I love your plugins. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a plugin called the Mid Matrix, which allows me to wrangle in this wild horse of sound <laughs> and put it right where I want to. When she came over, I'm like, I don't know where this project is going. But I like it. I don't know what you're doing. I just know I need to touch it. Like, I can't wait for Kendrick to hear this. I'm be like, hey, hey, <laughs> you got a little sister, Karen Lamar. <laughs> AKA, Karen Lamar AKA, Sha Speaks. <laughs> now, as you guys can see, Detox, like the rest of the songs, was recorded with the live band and we did our thing with it for the audio purposes. But with this one, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Instead of doing a live band music video, I wanted to do an official music video. So I contacted my friend, amazing videographer, Mr. Stack Moses, and we recorded this. Take a peek. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar though. Huh? Okay, tie your marks, tie your marks, finish line with the tie your marks. Wait, I ain't got time to be mimicking. I got a whole bunch of stuff brewing in my heart that I really need to say right now, right now. If you got a vision, right down, right now. If you got a dream, if you're gonna shoot it, down, stand ground, hands up, Mike Brown. Fire your marshals moving in, cause they caught that last ball. Say she blazing tracks with strong will, call a NASCAR, so a pause. With a prototype of a guy, well, pause. I wear you like Harold Fanega from Dallas, Australia. I don't even really care where you are. Good kills two times, I leave Oz. I left, I like UT Boz. Let me keep it playing, I'll be there where you is. I'm equipped with the whiz to be wherever you are. Just didn't want it, just didn't want it. Try to sell me the image, I just didn't own it. They said, go blue with a cop top, go. It really wasn't funny like a knock knock joke, so I knocked down all of them lies. Knock down all of their pain, me pride. Can no longer take me for drive, cause me ain't gonna longer go drive goodbye. I, I, like a captain on no run, I die. Like a colorist at the hair salon. I'm just having fun with these bars, baby. Ooh, I do not drink, so do not try to buy me the bar, baby. And we can go far, baby. Or maybe not. No shoe 
spring. Got you sitting up and wondering how I do things. I don't need you wondering, no one is thundering, and lighting and writing. I'm trying to be more enlightening. Trying to make it strong enough vitamin. Cause I wanna see you in the Heisman. And the pose like what? Tiffany's blockers got their blockers like what? Hold up. You in the Heisman. Hands to the side like what? Still forming your blockers. Got your e-blockers like what? Woo. Just puzzling people about you and your power in places that prosper. So full of the truth that you know what to do when you face an imposter. Get your face at your pasta. Get your faith at your pasta, cause you are what you eat Sort of like me when approaching this beef I'm on some milk and honey, milk and honey The world won't beef, then milk and honey Get it? Beef, milk, cow Choose to be natural, make them say wow I'm dropping these nuggets, I hope that you get them I hope that you get them, I hope that you stick them inside Until it's time for you to ride You be like, uh, go get them That grit, that grind, that get up, that go Sort of like me when I hit up that show Put me on stage, wait, let me get back to you You are the center core point of this flow Bragging about me, it just really won't help So back to you, are you beating yourself? I said your life is a movie And if you ask me, I said the record will help like Cut, 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 cut where your life back. Life cut, camera, we be right back. After these messages, then make them come out like the exodus. Or it's the exodus. Wait, come out like exodus. Or come out like the exodus. Why you figure out what it means? I said this right where the exit is. I'm finna go way up. I feel blessed. Selecting a drummer for this live band mixtape wasn't hard for me at all because I chose to rock with who I always rock with and that is my own personal drummer, I call him, uh, because he's been playing with me ever since he was 13 years old. This dude is a prodigy. He's an amazing, um, his name is Nick Reed, but I like to call him the Nick Reed experience because every time he plays, it's an amazing experience. Well, I'm Nick Reed, and I'm 18. Fort Worth, Texas. I've been playing drums since I was three. My love from drums, it's, it's like, drums for me is like home home away from home. Like, I find happiness, I find happiness like this. The drums is where I'm like most happy. It's also, it's like I'm comfortable, but then again, it also I'm, I'm pushed when I play the drums. So it's like I'm not just comfortable, but it's like a, it's like a healthy thing. Like I'm mm. not intimidated when I sit down behind the kit. I remember seeing the drums in a cage, and it was like a red. It was a red kit, and uh, dudes like my uncle now, Chris Walker. He was playing drums at the time, and I was always like just blown away and amazed by how he played, what he played, and you know even how the kit looked. You know I always just saw myself wanting to be up there, you know doing what he's doing. So that that's kind of like what flip the switch for me. I was, my my mom would always uh, tell me, like, the gift that I have, it's, it's, it's not for me, it's for others. And um, she always told me to take myself out the picture. So when I sit down and play on the drums, I don't just play, you know. I mean, I have to remember that I'm playing for God. Like that's first, cause he can he could take all this away very fast. I always, I always try to make sure that my heart is in the right place and you know. I mean, it's it's amazing. Like, I'll, I'll, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for the people to hear this because it's, it's something different and sound is so fresh, you know, it's so new and, you know, you got these amazing singers, you got an amazing artist, you got an, um, like a all-star band, you know, we're under great direction. So, you know, I'm just completely blown away and just glad I'm in the picture, you know. Day two, oh man. It was a longer day, and I had to try to maintain my energy for such a long day. Uh, not only did I have to maintain my energy, so did all the other musicians. Now, you know there are eight to ten of us in this room, um, and we're recording this right here in my hometown, in our hometown, Dallas. Everybody's right here around their families, their, 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 their kids have to get to school. All these things are pulling at them, and they're all having to leave, and I'm kind of like... <sighs> right? Now, in the midst of all of the chaos, we still managed to crank out this harmonious song. It's my tribute to two of my favorite producers, Kanye and S1. None other than the amazing body of work, Power. Let's take a look. The vibe of this one, when, I, when she first brought, this is the first one I did. Mm -hmm. The first Power is the first one I did. 
So I was like, let me recreate something. And of course, I'm a keyboard player, so I started with the piano part. Like, pull up the piano part. I started thinking, what could I do like some whole Elton John vibe? Come on, bounce. You know what I'm saying? To still make it have that, uh. And then that just bass line. Yeah, I like that. Dad was like, I'm not. <laughs> to that point, I was, I'm just gonna lay on there. When you get in rehearsal and you're working with dope musicians, though, of course, other stuff is gonna come abroad for it. It's like you're gonna add things creatively as a unit. Like when you're working with a good group of people that are able to work together well and you have many ideas, you just start bouncing ideas off each other. Like at the end part, uh, the end part came up in, in the rehearsals for the whole idea. The, mm, yeah. The way they singing it. Now we have to pause for the calls to show some love to the vocalists. Because after all, a song really wouldn't be a song without the singers. No, seriously, when I selected my vocalists for this particular project, I knew that I had to contact Miss Amanda Maxfield. She's an amazing artist known as Hashtag Mandy, but she also arranges BGVs like nobody else. Amanda is crazy. And then she calls in an even crazier tenor, Mr. Lawyer Turner, and then an amazing soprano, Miss Whitney Jackson. My name is Hashtag Mandy with an I. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I am a professional background vocalist, arranger, as well as an artist. Voice to me is an understanding. When people hear my voice, they hear my arrangements, hear my, my words and my thoughts, it's them gaining an understanding and perspective of who I am. Mm. So my voice is what gives people a glimpse into who Hashtag Mandy is. If I can be honest, I, I love arranging yeah. because I hear six, seven, maybe eight parts at a time in my head. The first thing in order to be a supporting vocalist, you have to be patient and you have to be humble. You have to know that when it's time for the artist to do their thing, whatever they tell you to do, you do that, and you do that job only, mm -hmm. unless they give you leeway to do other things. My favorite to perform vocally would be Millions, because it's most vocal heavy. Um, my favorite to perform, I think Revolution. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the most, that was the most fun, because it's got a trap beat, and I'm with anything with a trap beat. <laughs> What's the best way to describe it? This Sunday, whatever that is, uh, in conjunction with Sunday, two o'clock afternoon, windows down, seventy three degrees, and you're in the car like this. <laughs> you doing whatever this is. If you got a tongue and teeth, you can't say. It. I don't know. Yeah, how, I don't okay. know What her ministry was? You gotta be. She was able to get this out. Say he say she say he say. In the middle of a verse, let me put. Hold say, she say. on, it's all about. Yeah. That's that he say, she say, he say, and that's, that's that he say. say. That's, that's that he say, say, she say, he say. I'm Whitney Jackson. I am from Dallas, Texas, and I'm a background singer. I just love being a supporting vocalist because I feel like that's just my lane. Everybody has a lane, and when we learn to stay in that lane, that's where we are the most successful. So I found my lane, and I love it. So I work with Eric Campbell, um, I'm, I did a uh, track on Hidden Figures with Pharrell. Um, that was studio work with Kirk Franklin uh, for the Chance the Rapper Coloring Book album. So I've just been really blessed. Well, my voice is my instrument, and and I take it as seriously as uh, someone's talent being uh, welding or something, and what, whatever their passion is. But this is my passion. This is what I want to do. I long to do. But it has. It just gives me power. It gives me a chance. It gives me a chance to, to be with me and to show you what Whitney does and what I what I am, who I am. Study your craft. Be confident. I, I'm nervous everywhere that I go. If it's a studio session, if it's a two song set, I'm probably losing it on the inside. However, um, it's very important that you remain you and find out where you fit. Everything is not about the dollar. It's mm. about you wanting the opportunity for yourself because you want the title of a professional. Professionals don't always, you know, we don't always make it. We don't always have it. And it's hard, but but when you do, 
The result is beautiful. Just feel me. I had to tell Shaz, like, all right, it's some things that I, I don't want people to misconstrue what you're saying or to make up what they think you're saying. I want you to come back and re-record it. Mm -hmm. So we do have the luxury of her coming back and, and just making these statements and these yeah. phrases pop. My name is Lawyer Turner. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm Cliff specifically. And I am a vocalist. Um, I've been singing since I was little, like four years old. Um, music has is a part of my family, it's a part of my family heritage. Um, and I come from a huge, huge background of like singers and musicians, of people who play instruments and people who just sing. Singing is my personality. Um, I tell people all the time, like, music is me. I am music, you know? Like, I feel like music and myself is really one entity. Well, I've never done a lot of recording, so mm -hmm. this was my first experience um, doing a lot of recording. So I'm taking a lot of notes and I'm just kind of observing and I'm trying to really capture the moment and understand the process and understand the experience. So, so far, being here, my favorite song is definitely One in a Million. Just the approach, you know, I love love. So having the opportunity to sing about that is just what I enjoy doing. So. Yeah, it, one in a million is definitely my favorite. You know, whoever you're working for, if you're a background vocalist, even as the lead vocalist, it's about the totality of the picture. If you are the forefront artist, um, it's not even just about you. It's about the entire experience. And we're giving people an experience. Mysteries. Yeah. I'm living in that 21st, 21st with my president rock a purse, man. It really don't make sense to me. Uh, God bless this century. Traditionally, there's always a man on top of the tower screaming, no one man should have. Yeah. Uh, the system's broken, the system's broken. We leaking water. These mortar bodies are more than bodies for sons and daughters. Huh? What? We still having your baby, but we rolling professional like we driving Miss Daisy. A lot has changed, a lot of chains have yet to surrender. But good night, cool world, you been crutching the gender. Huh? Favoritism, you crushing no genders. This is way too political with such an agenda. No one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, the hourglass is ours. They saying one man really just meant woman. The time change, that mind frames devour. No one man should have all that power. The clock's ticking, the hourglass is ours. They saying one man really just meant woman. The time's change, that mind frames devour. Different degrees, two different books on two different pages. But somehow one man and one woman both went out for one job and ended up with two different wages. How the heck did that happen? A misprint, it gotta be anything that suggests be inequality. Sounds like a social issue, we should be addressing it. A human's still a human, even if it has a dress on it, unless you think thinking less of it. Which leads to insecurities, contradictions, and uh, them over underestimates. Remind me of this time when I was hooping at the gym. I went left, he fell, they yelled, she crossed him. Yeah. The dude got mad and said, girls can't go. I looked at him and smiled and dusted my shirt. Swoops off with these racist presidential races. The world is more sexist than racist. As I look down at this ballot, thinking women should be leaders. So why is her name on all of these pages? I said, so why is her name on all of these pages? I said, so why is her name on all of these pages? You got me like no one man should have all that power. The clock ticking, the hourglass is hours. They saying one man really just meant woman. The times change, that my friend is uh, Yeah, that's that he say, she say. That's that he say. That's that he say, she say, he say. That's that he say. That's that he say, she say, he say.
up to the plate? Millions. Now, the reason why we chose to remake One in a Million is because I wanted to find a song that I could that I could use to pay tribute to Timbaland and Missy because after all, they're two of the craziest producers I've ever heard. I could go on and on and on about them, but just know this, Missy is one of my greatest inspirations and Timbaland is crazy, especially what they did on this track, One in a Million. But then I wanted to add my own touch to it. Let's take a look. It's interesting that she did the whole project based off of, out of respect for producers because um, the way I approached producing it was out of respect for a producer named, jo that it was a guy named Josh. So I started out with the roads to really capture that about the approach of approaching it like Josh would approach it. So, um, so, Said, you know, <laughs> like Anton was messing with me earlier, yeah, I like synths, but Rose is my favorite instrument. So I pretty much started with that to kind of see where I could take it chord structure wise. Another thing that just really made this dope it was the layers of this song, how everything played together, far as guitar, um, the synth, the synth pad that it's in, it, the Rose and just the vocal structure. Um, shout out to Mandy, she really thought about some really, really cool melodies. Shy has a way of putting together a really good unit because she knows what different people do. And this was a really good, you know, mixture of talents. Because like I said earlier that when you work with a group of creatives, um, stuff is always going to change. So, and Josh had just been killing the song so much in rehearsal that he ended up with a solo on the song at the end of it. A live band mixtape, of course, has to have a guitarist. Guitarists add so much to the music world and the music community, especially in this case with who we chose, Josh. Josh. Josh is crazy. He has a, a very interesting ear, the way he uh, does riffs and the way he does his feels. He's so good that the music director, Thad, and I, we chose to give Josh a special tribute in his upcoming song. Baby, you don't know what you do to me, do to me. That's why my heart skipped the beat like, uh, and my eyes are so googly. Cause the way you look at me make me feel like I can light every room in your mind. You say we shine on our own, but together it's like aluminum time. Ha, you be making me laugh, but then you be making me mad. I walk away, you say sit, come. Boy, you be breaking me back. Ooh, but I wanna be broken and molded inside of your hands like a sculptor. What if I told you that life was unfair, but you came in and touched it? Boy, what it just. Already written in them stars Like them names on that play down in Hollywood I was thinking, oh shit, no, I probably should Going back and forth, sort of like a pile of goods At a dice game Nice name, and I'm happy we're gonna share it for a lifetime But right, nah, I got a crush on you You make me wanna kiss, hug, and touch on you But let's wait and do for this endeavor So let's be a couple for a couple of forever Cause you're love.
desire It's my desire to go in the choir like I sing at church I just like seeing you smirk so you get them permanent perks Plus, I seen a lot of people, a lot of people When I know that love is the honest way And the truth is trying to find someone as real as like one out of a hundred K So I'll be a fool to get stuck looking silly When really my illy, you one in the million Cause your love, your love is the one in a million to make a special feature. That, to me, is in-ears or inner ears. The reason why I say in-ears that way is because I so happen to be endorsed by a lovely company called In-Ears Audio. They made my entire live recording so great. Uh, they made it a, a breeze. And then, of course, if you guys noticed throughout the documentary, a lot of the musicians, in fact, all the musicians either had in-ears in or they had headphones on because we have to hear. In order for us to create the listening experience that you guys guys get to hear or get to experience we need to be able to hear ourselves and so these these are the unsung heroes i actually have to uh keep them on me at all times you know no i'm just kidding but seriously i actually want to pay tribute to um in ears who has endorsed me um we had they saw what i was doing as a as a musician and you guys are like probably like she doesn't play anything yeah i don't play any instrument but my voice is my instrument as me being a hip-hop and, and and spoken word artist um they saw that you know my my uh, what i bring my instrument will bring some diversity to the family and so i'm so excited to be a part of the in ears audio family and i love the fact that they took time to customize really really customize my um my in-ears and not only do they customize the outside of them and that's what you guys see oh look at these little cool little ear things in i'm saying you guys as in the people who are avid listeners of the music that we create or the music that i create and you guys see that and say man look at look at that they, they have those little cool colorful things in but it's not only that it's the fact that they take time to customize them to fit the mold of your ear and the thing i love about in-ears audio is that they are also medical grade. So they make sure that they are protecting your ear. You don't wanna just have the music on full blast in your ear because you're a musician and you wanna hear everything. You wanna make sure you're protecting all the important components of the inside of an ear. And so I really, really appreciate them for that. And uh, I just wanna actually take some time to sing a song to the unsung hero. Oh, thank, okay, no, I'm not about to do that. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this special feature. I'm gonna take some time to show you what it feels like for me being on the stage and all types of things like that. And so, take a look. Everybody got a new religion. Everybody got a whole new philosophy. And they thoughts, they got faults with God. They be way over the top like apostrophe. Wanna overthrow them, we need a revolution. But they done made slaves of the quarterback. The ancestors used to wade in the water, right? Well, I say bring the guy to the water. Water bag. Now, if you guys know anything about me, you know that my mission is to reinfuse positivity and spirituality into urban culture. So, of course, this live band project had all positive joints on it, but I had to have a spiritual song. Uh, something that I could 
talk exclusively about the Lord and, and, and his goodness. And so I say, you know what? I need to find a producer uh, that I love and that I didn't even have to search. Kirk. Kirk is the craziest producer uh, for gospel music. And of course, uh, I love who he teamed up with on this next song. And that's none other than the, like the, he's, he's just, I don't even know what to, to describe him. He's an icon, Mr. Dark Child. But this song, Revolution, you should just check it out. One of the things that I heard uh, when I got the files originally is, you know, they grabbed a snippet of the intro that Kirk Franklin did for Revolution originally. And the version that they grabbed, wherever they grabbed it from, it wasn't full uh, to me. So what I did is I, I had to go and, and grab the original one and make it sound full. So chop, chop. Uh, I had to chop up the timing of this particular song, uh, intro, sorry, not song, for it to fit within the song. Uh, because the original uh, didn't quite line up tempo-wise. So that looks like this, because the song is naturally slower than the, than the song. So that chop had to happen so it makes sense for it sitting in the mix with everything else. So I have to go and have to isolate uh, you know, every track to make sure it sits well within the mix. And as I heard Shy doing the chorus, at one point, she didn't say revolution. She said revolution. So I pointed it out to her. <laughs> and I went to the back and I was like, introducing revolution. Shout out St. Ives. Book of Revelation. So chapter this is seven, what I grabbed. Verses 16 and 17. Yes, sir. They but for it to sit in this mix because the tempo was changed, I had to go in and cut it up. So you don't lose any quality going from the chop of the sample at the top going into the, the, the recording of the live instrumentation. And now you also have a DJ in the mix as well. So again, not to beat a dead horse, but you know, as, as far as the, the mixing aspect goes, you have to give everything its proper placement, but every song has to have its own fingerprint, if you will, its own, um, its own unique sound that makes this particular song memorable. The DJ. Man, DJs add so much value to the hip hop community, to the music community in general. Uh, what they do with music uh, that we create and how they use it to engage with live audiences is amazing. Um, hip hop and, and the DJ used to be so intertwined um, and it's not that way anymore, but I still wanted to, on this project, show some love and pay tribute to a DJ. I chose to bring in my friend, the one who always rocks with me, Mr. DJ Bolotti. Hey, listen, uh, nowadays everybody got a new religion. Everybody got a whole new philosophy in their thoughts. They got faults with God, they be way over the top like apostrophe Wanna overthrow them, you need a revolution But they done made slaves of the quarterbacks The ancestors used to wade in the water, right? Well, I say bring the God in the water back Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa I still need a revolution You still need a revolution Oh, 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 whoa, whoa We still need a revolution You still need a uh, listen, I'm starting to see that the people tripping, they thinking they politicking, but really in proposition to fall off. We do not think of prayer until we stuck in despair. We put it up in the air like it's a ball toss at an NBA tip off, acting like sin ain't a rip off when that shit and veto. Cause I know that evil was fouling. Uh, but through Jesus, we got a free throw. We and one through the three and one. Who laid in the grave for three and one? Your battle of all battles be hitting your dualism, confirming your oneness, no spiritual pluralism. Like, uh, I think. Is thinking I'm talking to God like I hate how they do you. He say, Yeah, you do it too. You just know who deserves your hallelujah. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I still need a revolution. You still need a revolution. Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, oh. I still need a revolution. You still need a revolution. Now when I say revolution, that's really an evolution of the whole line. 
got to spring forward and you're thinking and fall back. They like saving this time. Because if it work, don't fix it. But if it's broke, you should throw it out. You just got to know how to pick it. Like it's a fro when you grow it out. I would not ever be passive about the one when he died with a passion. I do it too like I'm taking the class and being my own assassin. I follow Christ. Even though it's not popular anymore I cannot stop and just hit it no On the one who's calling this incoming And to the incoming I'll be like Whoa, 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 whoa Whoa, whoa, whoa I still need a revolution You still need a revolution Whoa, oh, 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 oh I still we need Nowadays, everybody got a new religion Everybody got a whole new philosophy And they thoughts, they got faults with God They be way over the top like apostrophes Wanna overthrow them, we need a revolution But they done made slaves of the quarterback The ancestors used to wait in the water, right? Well, I say bring the God to the water back Day two was an eight hour day, but it was well worth it. I would say it was actually a job well done by the crew, wouldn't you? Well, even if you wouldn't, I would, because I know that they recorded five songs that were remakes and two originals all in two days. Like an entire project in two days is pretty amazing to me. All that's left at this point is to take it into the post-production phase, which we talked about earlier, have it mixed, have it mastered, package for the world to see. So thank you guys so much for allowing me to take you behind the scenes into the making of a live band mixtape. My heart behind this project was that everybody in the music community would know that they matter, not just the front facing artists, but outside of music, it's my heart period. With every song, every lyric, every note, I wanted it to be clear that everybody matters. That's why I entitled this project, Dear Everybody. Mm-hmm.